Everything that you need to know about living in Stamford, Connecticut, this is what we're talking about today. So over the years, providing financing and helping people buy homes and sell homes in Stanford and throughout the state of Connecticut, I have learned so much. And let me tell you something, I have got a great, great appreciation for living, not just in Connecticut, but Stanford, Connecticut is such a wonderful place to live. And I wanna share with you some of the great things that I feel are great about Stanford. But first, my name is Mark Giles. If you're thinking about moving in or moving out of selling or buying a house, you need financing, I'm your guy anywhere in the United States, but today we're talking about Stanford, Connecticut. Let's dig into it. Today I'm in Stanford, Connecticut, and Stanford, Connecticut is one of the hottest spots to move for affordability as well as having the opportunity to live the lifestyle that you've dreamed of. So come on down. So call me, text me, like the video, check out my website below. That's gonna share all of the upcoming houses with you. If you're thinking about looking for a house in Stanford or anywhere in Connecticut, we've got all the houses available. We also have some of the best loan programs, whether you have no money down, or whether you have 20% down, or whether you wanna buy a renovation loan, you can buy a house and even fix it up. In fact, you got these loans where you can even buy a piece of land and build a beautiful house, your dream house right on that piece of land. So stick with me, we're about to show you Stanford, Connecticut. So starting in at number seven, let's take a quick map tour of Stamford, Connecticut. So let's talk about downtown Stamford first. Downtown Stamford is a lovely, lively area where you have a college. The University of Connecticut has its campus there. You have a lot of restaurants, a lot of shops, so it's really active and lively. You got a lot of good energy, a lot of young energy, and there's places you can sit outside, eat, enjoy your day, and then there's a lot of tall buildings. Now right on the other side of Highway 95, you have Harbor Point. Harbor Point has a lot of modern buildings, brand new. Some of these buildings have the most exciting amenities. They have rooftop swimming pools, they have jogging, they have outdoor activities on the roofs, they have uh, waterfront activities, there's a lot of restaurants there. It's definitely a place that you might wanna check out, even if you stop by just to have some lunch or maybe even dinner, it's a great place. Then you have neighborhoods like Glendale, Chapin, Springdale, these all have more quieter neighborhoods for people who want a more peaceful environment and access to a more urban living because you can get to downtown Stamford in minutes, whether you're driving, taking public transportation, it's all right there. So coming in at number six, let's talk about the housing, the housing costs and the neighborhood vibes. Stanford, Connecticut has something for everybody. The median sales price of a one family home in Stanford is about $670,000. Not only does Stanford have single family homes, but it also has a lot of co-ops, a lot of condominiums, and some of these co-ops and condos have beautiful views because Stanford has a lot of tall buildings. If you're thinking about living in a place in Connecticut and you do wanna sell your house perhaps in New York, and move to Connecticut, this is something worth seeing. So I would take a, a ride to Connecticut, drive through Stanford, and really get a feeling for the vibe because there's a lot of tall buildings, and at the same time, it's a very quiet, suburban, uh, setback place, and it's an enjoyable place to live. Moving on to number five, let's dig a little deeper into the transportation and the commuter routes. So if you wanna have the convenience of transportation and knowing that there's not gonna be a lot of congestion, relatively speaking, Stanford is a great place to live. In addition, like we said, the downtown section of Stanford is closer to the water by the Long Island Sound, and that's where you have the Highway 95. Now, if you wanna to get to North Stanford, yes, it might be a trek. However, it's very convenient because you have two main streets that take you straight on up to North Stanford. In addition, you have quick access to New York City because Highway 95 is right there. You can hop on the highway and be in New York City in about 30 minutes. If you don't wanna drive, you can hop on the train. The Metro North takes you straight on down to New York City, or you can go all the way up to Bridgeport, Connecticut, New Haven, and all the way up. In addition to that, you can even get on an Amtrak train and be anywhere in the United States. One thing that I found is exciting about living in Harbor Point is they do have a free trolley. That's right, you can just hop on the trolley and hop off at your own convenience so that you can enjoy the area and the different amenities that are provided. So number four, let's talk about the school systems in Stanford. They have public schools in Stanford, private schools in Stanford, even charter schools, that's right. So there's something for every child and I'm sure they have something for you and your family. If you're thinking about buying a house in Stanford, a condo, a co-op, whether you're living downtown or whether you wanna live in North Stanford, you would definitely wanna do your homework no pun intended, on the school system. Now, number three is very important. 
Today we're gonna to talk about taxes, taxes in Stanford. Now this is something that if you're thinking about leaving New York or leaving anywhere and moving to a place like Stanford, Connecticut, what you wanna do is get a sense of income taxes because if you're living in Stanford, Connecticut and you are working in New York City, you might be subject to pay city taxes in New York, state taxes in New York, and city and state taxes in Stanford. Stanford also charges a tax for automobiles. And you might wanna look into that as well. I'm gonna put a link below where you can look into that and get a little more detailed information from the state of Connecticut. I have personally been helping people get pre-approved over the years. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to call me at any time. The sales tax in Stanford is a little bit lower than in most places in New York City and also in the Westchester County. The sales taxes are 6.35%. And you can always give us a call, give me a call, the number's right below. We have homes for sale in Stanford. If you click the button right below, I'm gonna put a link just for homes one family homes in Stanford, and then you can change the uh, search engine if you want to look for condos, co-ops, or whatever it is that you want. There's a different filter that you can select from to change your search. So you can find whatever you want throughout the entire state of Connecticut. Number two, let's talk about the weather. In Connecticut, you're gonna find that the weather is very similar to New York because we're in the Northeast and the area shares all four seasons. So we have spring, summer, winter, and fall. Now, one thing about living in Stanford in the summertime is there are beaches. You got a lot of waterfront in Stanford and people do enjoy the beaches. In fact, the entire coast of Connecticut goes all the way up, straight up to Rhode Island, and there's nothing but beaches all the way up. In the summertime, you can have a great time if you enjoy going to the beach. And of course, the other extreme is the winter time. And yes, sometimes it does snow. I've noticed lately the last few years, because I live in Westchester County, I have a snow blower that I bought and I haven't used that sucker in years. And I don't know why, but it just hasn't been snowing like it used to. But if you're moving to Stanford or New York, you're gonna consider that there could be a good possibility of a lot of inches of snow, because every year is different. Now, we're winding down to number one, shopping and food. That's what everybody loves. And I'm gonna tell you what, if you go to Stanford, you're gonna find nothing but great shopping, great food, because they have every shop available to mankind, it seems. So what they have, they have all kinds of food stores, they have clothing stores. I mean, this is a real city, so you're gonna find everything you want. You wanna buy furniture, you wanna buy groceries, it's all there. So if you like outdoor dining and you wanna to go to a place that's very walkable because there's a lot of outdoor stores and shops and you can just walk with your friends and family and enjoy the outdoors, Bedford Street has plenty of great restaurants and different shops that you can walk through and enjoy. I highly recommend it. And now, time for our bonus tip. The moment you've been waiting for right now is a great opportunity to buy investment properties. Whether you wanna buy investment properties in Stanford, and Stanford does have its fair share of investment properties. You can buy properties that have two apartments in it, three, four units. Now, when you're buying an investment property and it has from one to four apartments in it, these are where you can find it. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will finance these properties. Right now, there's a lot of loan programs that are being offered to people who are wanting to buy investment properties. If you wanna buy a one to four family home, you can buy a property like that with as little as 20% down and you can and immediately start generating the kind of income because you're collecting rent. Now, sometimes you can move into the property where it's owner occupied and you can rent out the other property. So for example, if you bought a four family house, it has four apartments in it. So you would live in one unit and you would rent out the other three. If you chose to do that, you can actually get an FHA loan and put down as little as three and a half percent down. That's right. And so if you are thinking about buying a property like this, whether it has two apartments in it, three apartments, four apartments, and you wanna move in and live there and collect rent from the other apartment, this is a great conversation to have and you can hit me up anytime, my number's below. In fact, I'm gonna put another link down below for multifamily homes. We'll put it in for New York as well as Connecticut, whether it's Stanford, Westchester, Bronx, Five Boroughs, Long Island, we've got houses everywhere. Anywhere in the United States, I have a team of realtors through EXP Real Estate and we've got houses. And so if you want to learn more about buying a house, how to get pre-qualified, definitely hit me up. I got tons of great information for you. And like the video, subscribe, place your comments below. If any, there's no question, that is not good enough. And always feel free to hit me up. I'm always here, thank you.